Well, Martina's fighting for her life and her home. She has an inoperable brain tumour, but can't live in her house as she fights with an insurance company. Desperate for help, she contacted us. Well, it is quite an iconic home, isn't it? It was. Not much left of it now, I'm afraid. Water came right through all here as well, and these walls were just waterfalls. This wasn't the water. This was all water. Martina Roos is struggling. I walked out here and I was, my feet were underwater and it was just pouring on top of me. With both the damage to her home and her health. Large growth on the brain and the tumour occupies the entire left cavity of the brain and push the skull out at the back. As if the brain tumour wasn't enough to deal with. A year ago, a second disaster struck again. Now, a year on, a woman with a brain tumour is still without a home and begging an insurance company to fix it. I just want my home back. The home is gone, but I at least want the house back how it was. Willen and Patricia Roos had just one child, Martina. They built an iconic 1960s home on the northern beaches of Sydney. So everything's original from 64. People would come to visit the house because it was all original, the furniture, art. But after those storms and a year of inaction, it's falling apart. All original, tiled, everything. Um, now, because of the water, they have to smash it out. And the mould is too grey. I've had really? two mould reports and it's getting worse. Martina had lived here all her life. We had Christmas tree and... A woman with a terminal condition that even her doctor, Charlie Teo, said was inoperable, is battling on her own. My parents are gone and it's my only home. You had this home insured for yeah. just under a million dollars? Yeah. How much do they give you? Well, and they've not offered anything yet. Now those storms were in March last year, but the insurance company didn't come out, she says, until... July. Sorry, it took three months? Well, Four months before they came out. Yeah. I and had, you were living here I've in the damage? Two months without power, yeah. Because you had nowhere else to go? <laughs> no. My policy has accommodation and they wouldn't give it to me. When the GIO eventually visited, they made an offer, then came out again later and reduced it, says Martina. It cost about 90000 to fix the house. They've done nothing. And then they came back and said, oh, it's 48000 as the months rolled on, Martina got her own reports that said mould had taken hold within the cavities and the interior needed to be gutted, costing well over $100,000. Then Martina got hold of the GIO reports and she was floored. Lovely photographs and it talks about the tiles are cracked um, and some of the rooms only it's not my house and not my roof. Sorry, you don't have tiles on your roof? No, I have aluminium. And yet the report says the water got in through cracked tiles. tiles. Yeah. My goodness. Yep, there's Martina's roof. Not a tile to be seen. But wait, there's more. That report had solar panels on her roof. Let's take another look. No, not a solar panel to be seen. So what followed next was a terminally ill woman fighting what seemed to be insurance incompetence. Every time you ring, a different person answers the phone. Oh, yes. And you have to go through the whole story again. Mm. Nothing happens. They, oh, uh, we'll ring you. No. And they never call? No. And here's the offensive bit. How long had Mum and Dad and you been paying insurance to the GIO? Oh, February 1965. 
my goodness, that's 57, 58 years. And never made a claim. For all that loyalty, she's had one win, thanks to her carer, Angela, who took up the fight. It wasn't exactly like-for-like -like accommodation, but GIO eventually put Martina in a small apartment. Almost feel like she's been ignored. It's causing her terrible stress, that it's causing her uh, headaches, eating issues. <laughs> <laughs> Neighbours like Margaret can't believe a sick woman could be treated in such a way. She's uh, tried so hard to keep the house together and she wants to be here. How does this affect your health day in and day out? Um, physically ill from it. I have palpitations. I'm great anxiety. I'm terrified of rain. And every time I look at the house, I like calm, my heart just sinks. And I cry myself to sleep most nights. Oh, and I, I don't know what to do. She has written hundreds of times just want me to go away. She has no money to fight. I'm on a disability pension and I trusted GIO. My family trusted them and they've done nothing. And now GIO has told her she must be out of that rental next month. I guess I'll be on the street. I'll just be homeless, I don't know. Along with the beloved ashes of her parents. Let's hope sanity and compassion prevails. Imagine that, paying insurance on a house for 58 years and being treated like that. Well, since we got involved, GIO has acted. The company told us it regrets the delays and says Martina won't be kicked out of her temporary accommodation. It's also arranged a meeting with a GIO builder and assessor in the coming weeks. You can be guaranteed we'll stay on the case.